Hey Stacy, it's Chris. I've just finished doing a mock-up of the folder. I've just used this faux leather that I had there that I had, had bought it and didn't like it. <laughs> so I thought oh, I'll make a folder out of using that. So what I've done here is I've cut everything to the measurements and that that you've asked for. And what I've got here is, so you can't see any of the stitching here at the sides. So there's no stitching visible there. Then when you open it up inside, I've just got some A3 card stock paper that I have there. So I'll just take that out. Do you like my little mock-up <laughs> metal rod? <laughs> I just got a barbecue skewer and I joined them together there. So I've cut those to a length there that I thought fitted in there quite well. So you can sort of get that in like a bit of metal there you'd be able to sort of like probably give a little bit of a bend to get that in there so we've got the little tabs here I have cut these at a half inch square or 12 millimeters half inch square to be able to make this so that it'd be wide enough to secure that rod in there so I've done that at both ends so that's how that would look um, I've used a, just a contrast thread here so that you can see the stitching. So I would be stitching this down on one side first. Then I've, what I've done is I've stitched the little pieces on, like the little rod tabs on. And then I've come along and stitched about an eighth of an inch all the way around. I had to broke my thread there so that I wouldn't have a join there. So it'd just be one continual stitch going all the way around with the nice sharp corners like I've got on here. And then I've cut, trimmed the backing board to, to size to fit then in. And then what I've done is I have, I'll just take that little rod out. I've then secured the backing board in. So it's stitched down then with this additional row of stitching. To secure that and keep that board in place so you've got that nice firm backing and then what I did is I trimmed it so that that board finishes about here and then when this rod goes in so if we pop my little makeshift rod in it sits just beside that backing board just put that in there so that little rod sort of my, my little bendy rod there sits down in beside that backing board and lines up there quite nicely so that gives a really nice neat look Get this around this way there so it's up the right way then when you fold this over that folds to there and of course, being the leather, we'd be able to get a, um, that we're using, you get the nice fold like we did on these folders that we did previously. So that will fold up nicely along those edges there and stay in place, not like the vinyl here. Um, and then having that thick card, you can see it's quite thick there. That would be easy then to slide in three pieces of the A3 size paper in there because you've got that little bit of wriggle room at the top and the bottom there so you can see that there and then bringing that over and of course this metal rod would be sitting there nice and secure and then that would be the finished result with the paper so the menu would sit in there quite nicely like that you do have extra width still here at the sides there and then when that closes over I'll show you from the bottom there see if I can get that to focus so that's the look then from the bottom and then the top so that would be how that would look and then that's how much fold over you've got on those edges there going through to there so there we go let me know what you think and i shall catch you in the next 
next video or when we're chatting again next there. So I think it's going to look lovely in the nice big menu. So very similar to this one. So, and we've got the leathers and all that there. So I oh, will wait to hear from you. Okay then, bye.